Hey everybody, this is Mike. Uh, Tony's on a bit of a vacation right now, so I decided to record something a little bit different this time. Uh, I have a chat on Skype with my friend Annie Vandermeer Mitsoda of Double Bear, and uh, we just chat about all sorts of various topics and swear up a storm. So enjoy. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Mike. Uh, I'm Annie Vandermeer Mitsoda. And uh, today we're going to talk about something, and we don't even know what it is. No clue. Yeah. Okay. It's an adventure. Oh, an adventure. I like. Okay, so this is the Adventure Podcast starring my, my friend, Annie. And uh, I thought that all of you would probably like to hear from Annie because she's incredibly hilarious. He. <laughs> and uh, uh, also because she is a very good designer re person ditch the type of dude again best best compliment yay <laughs> designer type person like yeah uh this is actually a good chance i think for us to catch up because i i last i knew you were at bungee and or double bear or both or what, what's going on how, well, like i was pretty much just working um part-time at double bear for for ages like since since its founding um Mm -hmm. But uh, as of last April, April 2000, oh my fucking god, uh, 14, oh, um, it's been a while. I went full time uh, at Double Bear okay. on the record as an employee, legally in 2015, because that was when we actually had things like health insurance and a roster and things like that. Oh, oh my nice. god, all those those shiny, shiny things that come with um, being able to do that as a business. Um, working from my house, which is great, and uh, anybody who works from home will know uh, it's kind of unfair how much time we actually get to spend in our pajamas, and we're like, <laughs> and there's always a danger of like when you when you are at home um, slipping too much into either lollygagging or or the opposite, which is where you just sort of kind of destroy yourself uh because you're never away from work yeah, i mean that was hard yeah. during um during finishing dead state not just because there was so much shit to do but it's you know when you when you get to the end of a project um there's always shit you have to triage there's always stuff you have to let go mm -hmm. um but when you physically are not leaving where you work to go home <laughs> oh no making the decision like you're you you lose perspective completely um and and making calls on thir certain things like you you're, it does affect your judgment i'm not going to pretend that it doesn't um and because you think oh well it's just 10 minutes i can yeah, work for 10 minutes i can minutes. work on this for 10 minutes and then i mean we had a schedule where we'd be going to sleep around four in the morning and then just the second we wake up just bloop 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 upstairs ass at the computer actually there's one thing i'd like to amend about that we did get caffeine first uh, ah, <laughs> because okay. of course um but yeah no we we put ourselves to the ringer and for as much as it's like yes rpgs take a really long time and we have a super tiny team they take so much time nobody really understands i think how how much fucking work goes into into an rpg design tests every designer i've ever talked to has strong opinions about the design test oh totally uh and usually it has to do with your experience level. You know what I've seen a lot of times in, in design tests is it's less even about your approach to the question and more about have you thought about this? Does your, like, not even does your grammar suck, but can you run a fucking spell check? <laughs> like, seriously, I've that's seen... That's part of it, yeah, that's I've seen part ones of it. get shit canned because they're like, I don't think they're using this word correctly, and um, this is a really egregious, like, spelling mistake. And that's, it's just like a granular kind of attention to detail, which is almost just like, you're being tested on the test! It's, it's, uh... How much are you taking this seriously? But the so what, what we're talking about is uh, we're talking about like if you interview or if you apply to work at a company, mm -hmm. they will almost always at some point in the process send you some sort of test. Yeah. And that could be anything from like write a paragraph to uh, prove you understand certain concepts, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but in, in the field of design, what, what we've noticed is that they're, they're vastly different, both oh, in God. purpose and design. Yeah, that's, again, because it's like, um, there's so many sub-definitions of what it is that we do. Um, designers get the shittiest sort of end of everything. I mean, even on our resumes, because like, <laughs> um, programmers can have, I mean, they're, I have not met a programmer that's not working on their own projects. They have, they have shit they can show that's just like, well, I wrote this program, then it works. And they have um, tests that they can do that are just raw raw data. Um, a portfolio of sorts. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And artists have a for reals one. Um, portfolio, right? Animators too. Yeah, portfolio. yeah. Designers are the only ones that, um, I guess producers Producers can show too. their Gantt charts, I guess. <laughs> I can, I can, I guess the closest I could come in there and is, is like how many um, source control solutions. <laughs> but for yeah, for design, it's like what well, what have you shipped? Which is really shitty because I mean, well, mm-hmm. a lot of times it's just like well, this project was shit canned, this project was transferred, this company folded, stuff like that. Like it is yeah. out of their hands in that regard. There's a certain point after which you look at. Uh, designer's resume and you're not saying did that designer work on Mm -hmm. great things necessarily you're trying to figure out if that designer made something sort of like what you're trying to make yeah so that you can see if they understand the things they need to understand to make the game you're making yeah even like as a half step like my career has been me trying to take little half steps to learn more Mm -hmm. uh and not just get in a rut but like seeing I mean my first two games that I ever worked on were canned right yeah and I didn't I didn't get shit chipped till my third um and like now it's been a pretty good record so I don't know what it's like for for people now but like it's it's tough because if you have bad luck you could have been working for for ages but if people can't find shit that's immediately playable um that that's counted against you so much. It's really it's tough. Yeah, uh, it's 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 not like you know you do a bad game mm-hmm. and that's it for you. Yeah, like I've I've seen lots of people recover from real bad games, including me. <laughs> it's just uh, like it has more to do with uh, uh, okay, this guy's a racing game designer, and we're making golf. Yeah, uh, right. Does the position that we're hiring for? allow for the training time we'll need if we think that this person can do it, mm-hmm. you know? Like, it's uh, 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 it's usually that sort of thing. Yeah. And I, I have a very, very, <clears throat> like, uh, whenever I get a design test, I, I judge the studio based on their test. No, absolutely. Because if I can tell that they don't understand what they're asking, then I'm way less likely to want to work for them. Like if they're if they're asking me to take a test and it's clear that mm-hmm. they're not really clear why. Like for example, if the if the question "What is your overall design philosophy?" appears on the test, Ugh. then I know they're wasting <laughs> my time. Yeah, I like to make stuff, and I'm passionate about things. Like <laughs> I like my 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 answer to that one is always uh, uh, I am an ambassador for the player because oh. it says nothing but sounds correct. That sounds resplendent. Yeah, right. They're you're like, just, oh I, shit, he's an ambassador. I am the voice oh. of the player, right? You could be a voice. I, I have used the term the Lorax of a player before. <laughs> I am the Lorax and I speak for the player. Uh, there was one time I was asked to do a test where basically it was pick your favorite first person shooter engine and build an entire multiplayer map. Oh my god. And then during the interview, we will all play the map together. Oh, wow. And then discuss it. And it took like a week, right? Because that's how long it takes to make yeah. a multiplayer map. Yeah, it takes a and, bit. Yeah, and, and, and I'm already thinking, this is a bit wrong. Yeah. Right? Because cause, uh, it, it's showing a clear uh, not respecting the person's time. Yeah, it's, right? it's asking for a ton of time really early on. And it it's going to put you in a situation where you're like, okay, if I professionally worked on this shit for a week, I'd be cool with, with showing this off to, to peers. But, like, 
that just sounds like, oh boy, so I get to spend whatever time I have, and I have like a week to do it, because they always give you pretty tight deadlines, uh, yeah. and I get to have a room full of people just shit on it, while I'm sitting yeah. there like, well, I had a less than a fucking week to do it, like, yes, I'd do this, I'd do this, like... Well, the worst part was that the, the things that they shit on were the wrong things. Oh, God. Right, so I'm sitting there going, these people don't know what they're doing at all. I don't want to work here. Right, so after the interview, they're like, "We'd like you to take a test for a different position," and I was like, "Yeah, sure, okay, let's let's go with that." Yeah, just that's a big that's a big pile of no. If it's like, well, the, does the the space uh, flow well? Like, does it? Can you can you avoid obvious traps? Like, well, here's a dead end and da da da. Um, versus like, well, I think that these steps are a little awkward. Like, well, that'll make it a ramp. That's not fucking hard. Yeah, like like, or or even thinking about like view distances yeah. and uh, uh, you know where pickups are placed or there wasn't any of that it was all hey I can glitch your level over here oh boy I did it in less than a week yeah right? that's and I was like okay so you did yeah do you, do you want a cookie <laughs> here's a cookie yeah I mean I could have made that building taller if I thought that that was what the assignment was about yeah yeah but, and it was just a bad test it was really bad yeah that company I don't think exists anymore well, fuck them. No, <laughs> no, it's always it's always sad when it when it goes down. But it's you know it's just like that's I, I, the amount of time that I think companies spend thinking about their tests is way less than it should be. Um, and you, then ends up telling you nothing. Yeah. Except that the other person is willing to spend time on things. Yeah. I mean, it may be a good thing that they have a lot of time. It may be a very bad thing. And it's a sort of situation where it's like, okay, maybe let's assume you get something really great. I mean, like actually getting a physical product back, so to speak, from from a first-run design is like, that's a terrible kind of goal because mm -hmm. it makes no um, assumptions. Like a really talented person could have like no fucking time and not be able to turn out something as impressive as somebody who has shitloads of time and can right. really get all embroidered on it. But you can't do that on a you know on a daily basis. Yeah, when at Insomniac we we had a paper map, and the main purpose of the paper map was so that they could bring it in, and we would criticize it, and we would see if they would lose their minds. <laughs> that was actually the that was actually the, because it's what a crazy happened was. Test. We, we had a rash of crazy. That. Oh, yeah. Right? And we decided we needed to hire not crazy. That's good. So we engineered the test to detect crazy. Oh, that's right? perfect. Yeah, like that, that's, I think that's what you're doing with the test, right? Is if, if you're trying to see if they have what you need for the position. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, or like if I'm testing a senior designer, they're getting a different test. Oh, God, than yes. Someone who's never designed before ever. Yeah. Right? Never designed before ever, they're getting a. Okay, can you cross your I's and dot your T's and do what I tell you? Yeah, can you That's, take any criticism or you're just yeah. like, and you shut down? Or even follow basic directions, yeah. right? Like do this on a two meter grid, mm -hmm. right? And here's what two meters means or whatever, right? Yeah. Like, uh, it, it's, it's, it's just, you know, are they, are they doing what they're told to? Mm -hmm. Like if I ask them to design a mini game with these parameters and they come back with Sudoku, well, they didn't design that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or, <laughs> I had one come back where it says the mini game is rock, paper, scissors, and it gets harder as you go on. <laughs> and I was thinking, well, so what? Do they only throw rock to start with and you add in the other <laughs> two later on? Like, how does it get harder? <laughs> Guys come in uh, with pliers. <laughs> And then they just start going to town on you. No. Yeah, they just you, 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 you don't have you have fewer fingers as you go along, so you can't do scissors eventually. It was just it was uh, it just showed a remarkable lack of what we were looking for, yeah. right? which was someone who would try to solve a problem in a creative way. Oh yeah. Then I would I would bring those people in and then have them design something on the spot while I criticized it, mm -hmm. all the while telling them they were doing a good job. Just to see if they would get flustered. Oh my god! And some so you're just would. like left hand, right hand. You're like, that's looking really good. Although. <laughs> yeah. Well, what what I would say is, is I say actually that's a really good answer. So now let's just say worst case scenario, someone came back and said, okay, we can't do that. What's your next plan? That's brilliant. Right? That's see, that's that's the legitimate test. Unless I'm straight up trying to fuck with you, <laughs> which yeah, is also and... kind of a valid test, although less nice. 
True. And I generally am not trying to fuck with people. I'm just trying to see if they can do the job, right? Yes. But it's it's sort of like, uh, if, you know, if this person's never designed before, I need to know if they're the type of person who's designing for ego or designing because they love it or just, right? Yeah. Like, I need to know what kind of things am I going to need to train out of this person or train into this person? Oh, yeah. My God. I'm so much about, well, I'm going to say game development, not just design, is about adaptation. Like, mm -hmm. I think... And of course, you know, this is me as like, well, I think design has to adapt the most, but I do <laughs> well, think... I'm sure, I'm sure everybody thinks they yeah, have to adapt the most. Yeah, I bet artists are listening to this and they're just like, you're full of shit, woman. And um, the whole whole audio departments are grinding their teeth. Yeah, programmers are just like, <laughs> listening to you talk. <laughs> that being said, though, we totally have it the hardest. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we are just poor lambs. Oh, <laughs> pity the poor designer. But, okay, uh, one of the funniest things is I was actually, because I'm going to be moving soon, I was looking through old um, notebooks, and I think I found the notes that I took um, from when you interviewed at Obsidian. Oh, my God, that was the craziest interview I've ever gone to. Like, I've never <laughs> been to a longer interview than that interview. It was good. It was just so long. It was oh. so many. I met the whole company. Oh, yeah. No, it was just like, next. I mean, when I when I interviewed there two years previous, um, it was like being at a tribunal. <laughs> It was like six people came in and sat down, and then they're like, that's great. And then six more people came in to replace yep. them. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing that I remember from my interview was uh, I'm like, you know, got to be prepared, and I should have water at hand. And I couldn't get the fucking water open. Oh, <laughs> and no. And I was like trying to be casual about it, and finally I was like, okay... I'm sorry, I cannot open this water. And they're like, oh, and they just actually passed it down the line, and all of them couldn't open the water <laughs> until, like, the la I think Josh Sawyer was finally able to get it open, and everybody laughed and was like, that was another test of humility. I'm like, if that had been a legitimate test, like, well, well fucking done. Oh, um, that's some, that's some real, like, uh, psychological crap right there, yeah. Yeah, I would have been just like, wow, yeah. Um, That's right up there with that, you know, that that test where they the first thing says read all the instructions and the last thing says don't take the test. <laughs> and then if you take the test, you fail. Oh shit! Like, did that? Did you ever go get into that one? No, like, oh. no, that's some. That's some. I got that in high school. Level. You got it that was, in high school. <laughs> it wasn't graded. Right? They just said they were going to grade it so that they would teach us a lesson about reading instructions. <laughs> I failed. And one of the, like, two or three of the things required you to shout stuff. Oh, man. To finish the test. And I did all of it. And then when I got to the end, I didn't understand what, all right, now that you've read all the directions, don't do any of the rest of it, meant. I just thought, okay, the test is over. Yeah. So I didn't learn the lesson at all. Well, like, who reads all the instructions about how to put together shit from Ikea? <laughs> like, Right, yeah. And then puts it together. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know that I've ever built anything that was for a person mm -hmm. that was based around that type of mentality. Yeah. Right? You don't get like, the everything is based around, do not make them read the instructions, for God's sake. Yeah. Just make it obvious. Oh, yeah. 